Lovely, thank you very much. All right, another informal mock test. It's our second time here. Uh, when you're ready, I'm just going to ask you to exit the car park. It is a one-way system, so we'll have to actually go that way and follow all the way around to the exit. I'll give us the directions and drive on. Good luck. Excellent, yeah, thank you. Okay, so just as a tip, because we haven't covered this, you know when we did our reverse bay parking? It's going straight in the wheel. Uh, no, no, oh. observations. So before, yeah, exactly, I haven't covered this, okay? So with the student, I haven't covered this. The observations, it means blind spot checks. So what we've got to do is we're actually going to look over both shoulders out the back windows before we reverse, like that car. Mm -hmm. So that car would have to look around, see if we're here or not, and then make the decision after the observations whether it's safe to reverse yeah so we just needed to add that to your maneuver that's all okay so maybe when we cover the maneuver at some point on this route uh, we'll talk about the observations again on that one um the mirror checks i think we discussed a new mirror check today as well do you remember the braking one or the one i want to call braking so if we're braking Remember you had that horrible driver that pulled out randomly oh, on the dual carriage train, you had the brake. Yeah. So yeah, so just checking that mirror um, before braking is what the examiners will look for. That was something that you were concerned about, rightfully so. So we know who's behind us if we can. And that's it, so there's a couple of new things, the observations and the mirror check. Excellent, good, just having a right mirror check. There you go. And then just in case there was someone on the right we'd know about it before we move across and for everyone at home that's called change of direction so we've got the change of speed which is this mirror before braking and change of direction which is the side mirrors good position here excellent observations into the road so you can see if there's any incoming traffic and you can use more space because there's no one there that was nice ignore the sat nav don't look at it keep to our side of the road <coughs> And turn right, please. Thank you. So we'll know it's a two-way road because there's two different road markings, double-double and single line. Exit and entry. Okay, the next part that we're going to look at is a stop sign. Right. I'm not going to ask a silly question like, what does stop mean? But I am going to ask, what shape is a stop sign? And you may want to answer that when we get to the sign. <laughs> oh, it's an hexagon. Hexagon. So, do you want to give me the number of sides? Because I actually don't know how many sides a hexagon is. I must admit that. Six. All right, cool. All right, now we're getting closer. The traffic's in the way, but it's pretty close. We'll have a look when we get close to the sign, and then we can confirm. Until then, is your answer locked in? Yeah. All right, we're locked in. Yeah, hexagon. This is six, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's pentagon then? Do you know? Five. Is it five? Yeah. Right, okay. I've got to remember that. Keep getting those two confused. Now, the stop sign will be on the left side, so it's almost like we're going straight. Sometimes we'll come here with the examiner and they'll tell you to go to the roundabout. You might see the roundabout just here on the right, but today we're going to go straight ahead to the stop sign. Which one is there? I just like the Mini Cooper in front on the Countryman, sorry. Straight ahead to the stop sign. So there's your sign. I don't know if you've got time to have a look, but you might be able to see how many sides. That's on the theory test. That's the only reason why I ask. I know you're past the theory test. Lovely. Now, did we come to a complete stop? Yeah. All right, cool. Then we passed the test. Did I? 
Yeah, I'd say so, from my standards at least. If you want to rewind the video and be really picky, maybe not. Maybe it was very slowly moving. It's hard to tell. Um, so just remember for the exam especially, uh, put the brake on. What one of my students did is actually just count to three. And there's no arguments, right? Stop for three seconds is definitely a complete stop. I actually failed my mock test at that stop sign because although I said I needed to come to a complete stop, I actually didn't. <laughs> I slowly kept rolling. So just for everybody out there, be cautious of that one. It must be a complete stop. primary school back there and they changed the speed to 20 just to pass the primary school and then it goes back to 30. So it's originally 30, then 20, then 30. Totteridge. These are the double roundabouts, but we're just going to turn right. Lean into the right. Then there's lots of room here for this Mercedes to turn left. Oh. Otherwise we're going to block the whole road. Go into the circle. When you go, go into the into the circle. That's it, lovely. That's how you turn right. Everybody does it. Everybody. Have someone watch you drive if you're the person that says you don't drive. Oh, don't do that when you drive. Maybe if you're an experienced driver, quite professional, you may not do it. But for everybody learning, everybody swan necks. Everybody. So just be mindful of that subconscious. We don't notice we're doing it. So if you have someone watch, they may be able to point it out as it's happening. Otherwise, we won't notice by ourselves. Okay, here we are. Big roundabout time. That's well done. Easy. Yes, that's 100% correct. Well done. We don't want to block the traffic on the main road from turning into the side roads. So excellent leaving this available. Now we'll, we'll have a sign here. So we could use this as an independent drive. The sign says Mill Hill. Mm. Like us to try and follow the sign to Mill Hill, please. Remember, we're on an informal mock test, so if you do have any questions, just ask and I'll answer them normally like a driving instructor. So you said you had a friend called Narwhal? Yeah, it's her birthday today actually. Happy birthday Narwhal. She wouldn't be from Saudi Arabia by any chance, would she? <laughs> no? <laughs> that's where my friend Narwhal is oh. from. Welcome to the apex corner roundabout. Nobody likes this roundabout. This is less than a shepherd's bush. Yeah, because we don't have a traffic light. That's what makes it so difficult. 
The Shepherd's Bush one has tried to ride so it can help. was coming through the roundabout, we needed to give priority. Oh. Oh, what are you doing? No, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Okay, let's keep the speed up, it's a bit of your own. And then when it's safe, we need to move to the left. We'll keep the speed up. This isn't going to be easy to do to me. signal and just try to see if we can get to 45. We don't really need to get above 45. Lovely. Now, well done, we have 48. It's good. We're slightly overtaking this side here. So if we keep up to 48, we're in a good lane because we're overtaking. Let's see if the super starts to pass us on the left. That's called undertaking, we would fail our driving test. So it's our first time again, just for everyone at home. We haven't done this before. It's a very big, busy dual carriageway, it's quite intimidating. So, well done. The secret is to just try and keep that speed up, that's all. Yeah, which can be the scary part. Analogy, the road is a river, and we just like to go and flow along the river. Now, we're going to be approaching roundabout. And the roundabout, I think it's to turn right. And it will be the fourth exit. The signpost will say Barnet. Roundabout. The easiest way to remember for turning right is the right lane. Good for signal. Good mirror checks. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, it's too late now. Too close. After this car. Gently lean in now. Accelerate. That's you. Well done. And you stay on the right lane. So right lane, right lane, right signal. Exit one, exit two, follow the road markings. Follow the road markings. Keep the signal on, exit three. Slow down, slow down. Keep to the left, keep going. Don't need to stop. Signal left. Good, and keep to the left and exit. Well up. Slow down a tiny bit, only because I'm gonna ask you to turn left right here into the petrol station. See how it's wrong there, kid. See that? <laughs> She's gonna kill me. <laughs> Turn me left again for me, please. All right, since you does such a good, amazing reverse bay park, stop here. Would you reverse into one of these bays for me, please? Take time, no rush. And then remember we uh, pulled your leg about the observations because we haven't taught that to you before. Mm -hmm. So this is the time to do that break your neck moment. Very good observations. Good. Uh, beeping just to alert us that there's some motion, okay. movement. Just this vehicle also doing a reverse bay park. So we seem to be okay. But they approached us, so the car just warned us. <clears throat> Good control if you break. Very nice, smooth. There's a little bit of a bump there just in case we can't see it, so I need to kind of stop there. 
for some reason there's a bit of rubber there. All right, fantastic. And let's just push the power button. There you go. All right, so we have the spiral roundabouts now. This one here over here on the right. This is actually called Sterling Corner. You don't need to remember the name of the roundabouts. It's just for everybody at home. This is like Shepherd's Bush. I don't like it. I know, me too. I don't like Shepherd's Bush roundabout either. <laughs> All right, anyways, so very confusing. Now to make it simple, uh, you know like a seashell uh, spirals. Let me see if I've got some plain paper. You know what, there's one already drawn here. All right, it's very scribbly. But actually, that's not it. That's not it either. I need, oh, there we go. Get a plain paper and a pen. Okay, so let me try to do this a bit better. The spiral roundabout, like a, a seashell. You know how on the seashell it kind of spirals out like that? Mm -hmm. That's what the lanes were doing here. Do you remember I said follow the road markings? You saw them they were spiraling out. So I'm going to try and draw that here, which is a little bit tricky. So we were here, there was three lanes here. One, two, three. We were in the right lane because we're turning right, lane three. And then when we come on the roundabout, there's a the right lane. So right lane into right lane. This is the part where we spiral, and that's where the road markings were. And if we just follow those, they actually just guide us all the way to our exit, which makes it a lot easier for us when we exit, because we don't need to change lanes. So that's a spiral roundabout. I know it's a very sketchy drawing, but I think it kind of gives the idea of the road markings and why it's called a spiral roundabout. So really, that's the highlight of this whole route. You had two. You had the big one before, excuse me, where you said you think you went the wrong way. Yeah, so we did. Yeah. But you did it safely. No danger. You followed the road markings and you went wherever the road markings would take. So very good job there. Well done. That took us to this roundabout here, which is even bigger. Same thing, spiral roundabout again. Um, and then it's confusing because there's so many lanes, so many cars, so many things happening. But if we simplify it, we're just looking at the road markings and then just following the road markings. Is this roundabout in your drill test? Yes, but I would put on lots and lots and lots of money that you wouldn't come here. It's also on the Barnet test as well, actually. But the chances of us coming here like 5%. It's a very low, yes it is. Alright, so we may come back here and practice it in the future, but otherwise we're going to focus on the meal here on Apex Corner majority of the time, which are the other roundabouts closer to the centre. Right, any questions or anything I might have left out? Mm. No? Cool. Alright, it's been a pleasure again, and uh, we'll kind of head out this area now. So, we'll be back here again. I know you're excited, you can't wait. Mm. <laughs> But we've got to get you to this stage where you feel comfortable and then you know you're ready for the test. Alright, okay, see you next time.